Hey y'all, good morning. It's Tammy with Real Southern Woman. And today we're going to review chapter 18, the missions era, out of 30 days to understanding the Bible. It is Friday, which is a good day. I hope y'all have a good Friday. Now, the missions era is one of my favorites because of Paul. I just love Paul because he brought the gospel to the Gentiles, which is me. And um, so it's special to me. Uh, I just really like uh, learning about him. But the missions era uh, starts out... Um, With the storyline summary, it says Paul expands the church into the Romans, into the Roman Empire during the next two decades, and most of all of this information comes out of Acts. Okay, and so um, I read a little bit in Acts this morning. I closed my Bible, so I can't, uh, but I can tell you a little bit about what I read before we start, and that is um, it was talking about. Simon, um, whose surname was Peter, and um, how he seen a vision of a sheet coming out of heaven, and it was full of, excuse me, four-legged beasts and creeping things, he said. Um, and God said, eat. Uh, so God was telling him to eat this these things. And he said, oh, no, God, I can't do that because I've never eat, eaten anything that was unclean. And God let him know that he had sanctified these animals and that he was allowed to eat them. And one of the reasons God did that is because, like I was talking about yesterday, um, once the gospel um, came out, uh, God gave a way for the Gentiles to also be children of God. And when he did this, he was letting, God was letting Peter know that um, it was okay to eat meat. Um, it released him from the old law. And he told him, um, so when he went in to minister to the Gentiles, then he was able to eat with them at their table, which was really important. Um, so it just reminds me of what I was talking about yesterday, how God uh, did make a way for the Gentiles to be children of God, and he also uh, broke us free from the law, and that shows right there that Peter was able to eat meat. A lot of people um, don't eat pork, and they don't eat meat, and they say that it comes from the Bible, but let me just say this. Um, in the Old Testament, God did tell them to stay away from pork and a few things, but in the New Testament, he opens everything back up to us and says that we are allowed to eat it. Uh, not to us, but to the Jews. So if the Jews uh, and his children were allowed, then don't think that eating mean, meat is against the Bible because it's not. And plus, we were never, um, most of us, <clears throat> excuse me, are not Jews. <clears throat> and we were never his children under the law anyway. Um but anyway, let's start our, our lesson. Paul expands the church into the Roman Empire during the next two decades. Paul is the missionary who took the gospel to um, the Gentiles, which are people that were not Jewish, okay? Since there are four main, major subjects in the mission era, the first missionary journey, the second missionary journey, the third missionary journey, and the fourth was trials and imprisonment. So the first uh, missionary journey that Paul goes on to was in Galatia. He was there for two years. It says they always departed from Antioch um, when they went on a missionary journey. So always remember that Antioch in the Bible is a very special place. We're, um, it's, it's just a good godly place. And Egypt in the Bible is a picture of uh, a bad place, okay? Um, it's a picture of the world. Um, he returned to Jerusalem to counsel, um, but he there was controversy when he got back after his first missionary journey. He went on a second missionary journey, and he actually was going to go back um, to Galatia, but he had a vision of a man... Um, and he was in 
Greece. So he changed his plans and he went to Greece. He was there for three years. So that was his second journey. And um, he preached the gospel message to the Gentiles there in uh, Greece. Then he came back home and um, he left again and went to Asia for four years. Um, now, when Paul gets back home to Jerusalem, um, he, my internet's going off. After being in a Roman pit prison for two years, um, he was beheaded. Um, so he dies in Rome. Okay. So in our story book, and I've been filling in these blanks, and I hope y'all have too, because if you don't fill them in, you just forget stuff. And um, so if you're filling the blanks, our era is missions, our figure is Paul, the place is the Roman Empire, and the storyline summary is Paul, and the, the blank is expands, E-X-P-A-N-D-S, the church, into the Roman Empire during the next two decades is your second blank. I think Roman is a blank too. Um, so that is our story uh, line summary. Yeah, I went in last night and you know they have this whole long uh, storyline of the Bible that we've been filling out the whole time we've been doing the study. And at the end of every study, they start from the beginning and let you fill in the blanks of what era. You have to list the era, the figure, the place, and the summary. And so um, if you do that, then it's just apply, apply application, application, application. And you're going to learn it. And sometimes, I, I'm not going to lie, I haven't filled out the forms, but I'm, I'm starting to because I'm starting to miss and, and forget a lot. And so um, make sure that you're filling out all your blanks so that it will stay fresh in your mind as we go through the study, okay? Now, I know we're not going to remember all of this, you know, forever, but at least while we're getting through the Bible to kind of help us understand how it's put together, uh, fill out the blanks if you have a book. And if you don't have a book, uh, you can get one cheap online because we still got a long way to go. We're on chapter 18, and uh, and uh, tomorrow we'll, we will review chapter 19 and start the epistles. Um, but this book is wonderful, and um, I would recommend anybody getting it, okay? So uh, that's pretty much it on Paul. Now, I picked up... Oh, I told you all about the meat already. I was reading that this morning. So everything right now that we're talking about is in the book of Acts. And remember that Acts was a special time. Um, a lot of things that happened in the book of Acts are not going to happen today. Um, when, when Jesus um, was crucified and when the church first started, the book of Acts is full of a lot of miracles and special events, and uh, the Holy Ghost coming down in ways that uh, gave people power so that uh, it was all so that people around, and the Jewish people as well, would believe, okay? So they did astonishing things and miracles and that kind of stuff, but that is also a time um, that has passed. So don't think that because people did things in the book of Acts that they're able to do that kind of stuff today because really they're not. Um, it's up to God what he decides to do with us and our health and our well-being and that kind of stuff. So uh, just remember that. I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. Um, I feel like I haven't talked very long, but really that's how long Bible study is supposed to be. So it'll be Monday before I see you guys again. And um, I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. Let's say our prayers. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you to, for today. We thank you for this book. We thank you for Max Anders pinning down 30 days to understanding the Bible so that we can come to know your word better. 
um, help us as Christians today. Help us be strong. Help us withstand the temptations today and over the weekend that we may face. Help us to be good shining lights and uh, radiate your love to people. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. I hope y'all have a great and blessed day. And my dogs are out this morning. They didn't even bark. Can you believe that? Love ya. Bye.